squad welcome back to the channel i ordered some new builder gel we have not used this builder gel before so i thought we would just open it together okay and as you can see it's still sealed in plastic so i have not opened this at all yet so first 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 thing uh purple hello purple hello and what an interesting shape to the box. Really have not gotten a package like this before. Not that I can recall uh, for anything, really. So this is super interesting and cool. I have to say I like it. So let's go ahead and pop it open and see what we got. Now, of course, that was upside down. Let's pull everything out. Okay, so it comes with a little book. I'm just going to set that box down. Um, comes with a little bull, <laughs> with a little book. It says Builder Gel Manual. And it just gives you all the instructions that you need to, um, to use this gel. Sorry, blah, blah, blah. Um, <laughs> so let's go ahead and look at everything. It comes with a few forms, and actually this is kind of a lot of forms. So we do have some forms like this, but um, I tend to not use them because they're small and they don't really go all the way around your finger correctly. So, um, sometimes, you see what I mean? There's no way for it to close at your finger, right? It only closes down here. So, it's not really, and look at, look at that. Okay, so the forms are not something we're going to use. We may use them as little backings to make things or whatnot, but not to actually craft nails. We have forms and we will just use those. But it's nice that the kit comes with something, I guess. Uh, then it also comes with this little brush, but I don't know about you, this seems a little small to do a full set with but it would definitely be nice for, you know, getting in those little small areas where maybe you missed a spot or, you know, up close to the cuticle, uh, that kind of thing, or even possibly to um, adhere, to put down gel for adhering uh, gems. So um, I do wanna apologize. I'm sure you can hear the fan. I turned the air conditioner off because it's incredibly loud, but the fan, I can't let that go. I'm trying to get the lid out of here, which just came off. And it's basically just a straw, honestly. But anyway, oh, okay. Oh, 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 look at that. Shut the front door, guys. Now it kind of looks like a little clicky pen, although that doesn't click, but now now I really love this, okay? I'm just gonna say it. But uh, like I said, I don't think it'll be something I try to build a full nail with, but maybe, you know, to get that slip layer up, up close to your cuticle. Sorry, a little gassy moment there. But let's use it to check out the gel. Let's check out the gel. I do wanna say that this feels sticky and look at this this is very disappointing uh i hope this is full how about we say that i hope this is full let's go ahead and grab a little tool to bust this seal and see what we got in here I'm not gonna try to spend a bunch of time trying to pull this off. And it looks like we are full. Oops. Okay. 
seems pretty thick. It kind of reminds me of the consistency of the Moravon, which you know Mama likes. Mama likes that gel. Let me, let me dispose of this because it's super, super sticky. And I'm going to take a moment and clean my fingers. I don't want to just let the gel sit on my hands. That doesn't seem smart. Nobody wants to get um, allergies, right? So far, the only one I'm, I've ever been allergic to is the Casella. So that one I don't use. Okay, first look, first impression, it looks very clear. Um, it feels like it is maybe a medium consistency. Let's just, we're just going to wipe this right off, but it just gives you sort of an idea of how it will play on your nail. Um, oddly enough, guys, I'm really enjoying using this to spread the gel around. It seems very effective. Which also makes me rethink some thoughts I had about some other products that I'm not going to talk about today. Um, <laughs> I, um, I'm not saying I'm going to switch over from a brush to that or anything. I just... I'm surprised how, how much I enjoyed that. Um, okay, it really does just go where you want it to go and stay there. You can definitely see there's some self-leveling going on and you can uh, manipulate it and correct any mistakes or any running that you get, but honestly, I'm not seeing a ton of running. This feels really, really interesting. I really like it, at least the way it feels so far. I think we're going to have to do a fresh set very soon to play with it. Uh, these need to be removed soon anyway, so I think that'll be fun. And also these as well. Uh, as you can see, I was doing some stamping. This is the set that you saw on Monday. I was stamping. All of this was done on the same day. I just ordered this and it came straight away. Let's just grab a tip real quick and just, just do something. Let's just fill up a tip and see, see what it, it does. Because we should be able to pop it right out if I don't do any kind of prep work, right? Right? Sort of like a dual form. Because that's what I do when I'm trying to work on um, uh, Patsy. Let's flip it around and just fill this well. Oh, I like how it, it just breaks really easy and the string comes up fast to meet it. Some gels are super slow to do that because their viscosity is so, so thick, so thick. This is thick, but also not, I feel like it's not quite as thick as the Moravon. We'll have to maybe do a test or something if you guys are down. Leave me a comment and let me know. You want a battle of the builder gels? I can buy a couple more maybe and we can do a little battle. Because you know Mama likes the builder gel. Now I will admit I got a couple of bubbles in there, but that's my fault. It is not the fault of the gel. Let's cure that. That's me just sucking at life right now. So, you know, 
we all suck a little bit once in a while. And you know what? Embrace that. It's okay. It's not negative to admit that occasionally you might suck at something or maybe you didn't do anything exactly the way that it should have been done and you learn from that and move on. So I am a big, big proponent of embracing the suck. I'm going to say this is not as awesome as I thought it was. <laughs> How about that? How about that? I would like it if this was better. So Vren Mall, don't include this kind of crap if it's not going to be worth it. I mean, what's even the point of that? Whoever manufactured this, what is even the point of this? Please don't make shit this crap. <gasps> Guys, I just cursed. I'm going to try to bleep that out, but I might not be able to. We'll see. I'll try really hard. Uh, if I made it, you're going to go, what did she say? You're going you're gonna to know what I said. It wasn't super bad. Honestly, if the S word, which is what I said, bothers you that much, you might be super sensitive. Okay, the this could be because the jar is a little bit funky, but I hate it when things don't, when threads don't line up correctly. That annoys me. Okay, now it did say 120 second cure. So let's see if 60 seconds is enough. It feels like it is. It feels like it is. Let's see if we can pop this out at all. We might not be able to. I didn't completely fill it, so. But it has a sticky layer, which I can definitely feel when I try to touch it. It's very, very clear. My bubbles notwithstanding you can see this is going to be great for encapsulating um i'm not getting it to break apart here which is really interesting right that's kind of cool okay guys we're going to keep this short i don't know how short it is but we're going to keep it as short as it is and um welcome the new vren mall builder gel to uh to our collection um, it doesn't really say if it's hard gel or soft gel, so, um, we may, uh, it's soak off, so it's definitely a soft gel. So we will have to do a little, uh, soak off test and see how that works. Um, the Moravon is a hard gel, so... Having a soft gel is nice for um, any any person who might want to completely remove the gel from their nails. So if that's something that's important to you, might want to check out the Vren Mall. Uh, we are going to do a test on this very, very soon. So be sure you're subscribed. You don't want to miss that. Okay, guys, thank you so much for coming by and watching me unbox and do a first test of the Vren Mall Clear Builder Gel. This, like I said, is a soft gel. So we are definitely going to have some fun with this. Probably Friday's video will be me testing this on myself, so be sure you are subscribed for that, and we will catch you then. Mwah.